guys welcome to my channel it's gonna be orthodox easter tomorrow so i'd like to invite you to get ready with me i want to cook some traditional food i'm starting just in the so so morning easter is my favorite day of the year for me it's a so beautiful day and it's about hope for each of us so let's get started and at first i'm cooking easter cook i'm using this set of products we need dried fruits i've chosen raisin and cranberries vanilla extract cream and so on but cottage cheese is the leading ingredient so let's get started i'm starting in the morning because this dish cooking takes so much time 25 hours at first we need to mix the main ingredients cut the cheese cream eggs butter i'm using blender for this because this is the best way to get creamy texture of product after that i'm boiling it couple minutes it should become warm i'm washing raisin and cranberries because i like to play for dewy in my coat Besides, cranberries contains added sugar inside. Raisin contains sulfur oxide, so I'd like to wash this off. And I'd like to fry it almost a little bit to intense its taste. I have biotechnologist education actually, and food safety become to be my profession. Once upon a time, I worked at nuts and dried fruit manufacture fabric as a quality manager. So I know a lot of this kind of product as nuts and dried fruits and glad to share my knowledge with you. This sort of almond called non -parel. Then you choose almond, pay attention to the lesions. This, it shouldn't be made by mice and worms leave small round holes. I add some lime peel, almond and dried fruits, vanilla extract and sugar. And now I'm making a constructure which help to separate excess moisture. I'm leaving this constructor in fridge for 24 hours. Next step is baking cakes. Dough gonna be so rich. I'm adding 8 eggs, butter, milk, dried fruits. Okay, just let me show you. I'm adding yeast to warm milk, a spoon of sugar and left it for half of album. There is plus 35 degrees at my kitchen, so it's a perfect temperature for them. Yeast they are like alive persons. They love sugar, warm, being in social. That's why you should always make a lot of dough, more than one kilo. If you make less than one kilo, yeast works worst uh, and yeast dies if temperature more than plus 50 degrees. So I actually don't understand why people are afraid of yeast in bakery. Yeast dies during baking. Uh, also, yeast dies if you use a mixer or blender. In university, I was researching yeast a lot and one of students used a blender to mix yeast in water. After blender he used microscope and saw all the cells of yeast were broken for pieces. So don't use blender when you work with yeast.
this kind of dough needs to be mixed for so long. 500 grams of flour takes 30 minutes of mixing. Yeast loves your hands warm and oxygen, so you need to give it to them. As a result, we will have a lot of air bubbles in cakes and they are gonna be so soft. I left it uh, for two hours, so I have time to clean up my kitchen after cooking. Okay, it's two hours late. Let's take a look. I added a little bit of cinnamon here before. It's not sticky. Everything is all going okay. bubbles inside and we need to get them away by this warm motion. Okay and I need to lift it for two more hours. Okay, bye bye, see you in two hours. Okay, and now it's again left two more hours and let's just whoa <gasps> just look at this. Perfect. It's perfect. It's absolutely not sticky. Then cakes became baked, I leave them on the side to let them get cold faster. Hi guys, today is the next day, so let's take a look for our results. I get failed with one of the cake, the top was burned. But to avoid this with other cakes, I put it a piece of paper, sheet of paper uh, for each top. And let's take a look for a good because it's 24 hours left. It's ready. It's so easy to cook. The taste of this dish just perfect. 
so creamy and so rich, but the process takes so much time. I'm gonna make the glaze by whisking the egg white, lime juice and sugar in a bowl until frothy. I left my cakes to the kitchen, we've been here all night and guys you can't imagine the smell which exists on my kitchen now. My kitchen smells amazing. I haven't found some paints here on the island to color eggs, so I just boiled them and decorated by flowers. And it was my Easter cooking vlog. Thanks for watching and see you in my next videos. Thank you, love you.